Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So before we get into today's topic, I just want to take a time to say, hey Aunt Denise. So when your great aunt tells you that she watches Motivational Monday every Monday and never misses a Monday, I just want you to know that made my day. And I'm really glad that you told me and I'm I'm really appreciative of the support to say the least. So With that being said, today's topic is facing your fears. So, fear is one of those things that stops so many people from doing so many great things, myself included. There are a couple things that I know that I'm supposed to be doing and I know that God has put it on my heart to do, but they're scary. And I wanted to talk about it um, because I don't know if you guys have noticed by now, but a lot of times when I post motivational messages or um, so Motivational Monday or Thoughtful Thursday or even Nicole's Nuggets on a daily basis, I'd be talking to me too, (laughs) y'all. Like just because I'm talking on these subjects does not make me an expert. Like I'm really, it's a each one, teach one perspective. Sometimes I get scared too. Like a lot of the things that I'm trying to do and that I know that I'm supposed to be doing are scary. But we have to realize fear is normal. But fear is not a red light. Fear should never stop you from doing the things that you know you're supposed to be doing. I think the reason why sometimes fear does become a red light is because we don't often recognize it as fear. So even for myself, when I've been delaying and procrastinating and, you know, moving slow on some of the things that I know I'm supposed to be doing, I didn't immediately recognize it as fear. It was just, oh, I'll get to it. Oh, it's a great idea, but I really need to, oh, but I got to do it. Oh, but I... But here's the freeing part. The moment I realized that I was delaying out of fear, that was the moment that I was like, oh, green light. Here's the reason why, though. I've been taught through my church and through my pastor, you run in the direction of your fears. Run in the direction of your fears. That means when something scares you, That's the exact thing you're supposed to be doing. Here's why. The devil does not have the power to stop you from doing what you're supposed to do. He just can't. He can't make you do anything. Sorry, guys, but that's the truth. But what he can do is he can use fear to make you stop you from doing what you're supposed to do. That's just what it is. Sorry. Um, But even with that, God does not govern by fear. He just doesn't. So anytime you know fear, it's the devil. When you feel fearful about something, like a genuine fear about something, it is the devil. And what that means or what it should mean is the devil is trying to stop me because he sees what will happen. He can see that if I do X, Y, or Z that I know God has told me to do, then I'm going to be able to uh, insert good thing here. So his own, his not only, but his favorite mode of attack is fear because he knows as humans, when we're afraid of something, we run in the opposite direction. We got to stop running. We got to run towards the fear and use fear as like a guide to say, oh yeah, this is the right thing I'm supposed to do. So you should feel the fear. I'm not saying fear doesn't exist. You should feel the fear, but do it anyway. And it takes discipline. It takes being surrounded by supportive people. Um, It takes having conversations with people who are going to say, yeah, it is scary. You still got to do it. 
you do you see what I'm saying? Not people are going to say, oh, 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 don't do that. That's scary. Those are not the people that you want to trust with your fears. It's just not because they're going to feed into the fact that it's scary and they're going to encourage you in the wrong direction. Brave by definition means being afraid of something but not allowing that fear to overcome you. You can't be brave without something being scary. It's just what it is. So, I would like to know, when is the last time that you felt fear, but you did it anyway? Comment below. Thanks, guys.